Hi, my name is Steve Cavallaris for electricaltime.com. So we're in the bathroom in a dwelling unit and we can see here we've got, you know, the bathroom sinks over here. We got two of them and what we're going to be looking at are the required receptacle outlets for those sinks. Okay, so uh, we're going to be using our Mike Holt book. It's called The Changes to the National Electrical Code. And this one's going to be for 2023. All right. And uh, I highly recommend that you get this book. Um, every three years, uh, Mike and his team do a phenomenal job at looking at the changes to the National Electrical Code. And when you get this book, I mean, it's, it's really just a wonderful book. Um, I'm going to kind of show it to you from here. You know, I'm not really supposed to show it, but I'm, I just want you to get an idea of what's in this book. It's got so many graphics that are in here. And, you know, a lot of times when you're reading something from the code book, you might not understand what the, what the heck they're talking about. But when you look at a nice graphic like this, you're like, hey, I understand that now. Oh, okay. Now you just made one less mistake in your electrical career, you know, just by looking at a, at a wonderful graphic like this. All right. So we're going to be uh, looking at uh, 210.52D. And that's going to be for the required uh, receptacle outlets. And in this case, for the bathroom sink receptacle outlet or outlets. All right. And I'm going to read this to you, and then I'm going to be talking about the subtle change. All right. But uh, if you've got your My Colt book, and again, you can get this from my website, electricaltime.com. Uh, you know, put the video on pause and let's go over this together. But uh, you really got to have this for all the graphics that are in here. They're just absolutely phenomenal. Okay. So what they're saying here is that we got to have at least one 15 amp or 20 amp 125 volt receptacle outlet and it has to be installed within three feet of the outside edge of each bathroom sink okay so so far there's nothing new right it's still the same rule we had before in 2020 so we haven't seen any changes yet but let's go over the rule so if i've got my bathroom sink over here so from each edge right i can go from each edge I got to have a receptacle outlet within three feet. And if I go to this edge over here, I could see, okay, we got a receptacle outlet over here. And this is GFCI protected as required in 210.8. And it's also tamper resistant, which is another requirement for dwelling units in you know, specific areas of the dwelling unit which we'll cover in another video. Okay, so let's continue uh, taking a look at the, the My Cult book. And it says that the receptacle outlet, that it has to be on the wall or the partition adjacent to the sink counter surface. And the word sink is underlined. Why? Because in previous editions of the code, they used to call it a basin. And a lot of people, you know, they don't know what a basin is. You know, you go and you look at a sink, hey, that's a sink. Am I going to call this a basin? No, I don't think I've ever called it a basin until I started reading the National Electrical Code many, many years ago. And I asked myself, what's a basin? So a lot of people got confused and they made that subtle change and they call it a sink. So now people are not getting as confused as they were before. And then it says, or on the side or face of the sink cabinet. Okay. And this is something I really don't like at all because in the kitchens, it's now illegal. It's not legal now to put a receptacle outlet, let's say on the face of the cabinet here. And the reason being, you know, if you have something, let's say, plugged up here, and let's say it's a, like a, a cooking appliance or something with a lot of hot water, right? Hopefully you're not cooking in your bathroom, right? But, you know, for people that have small houses, I mean, they're, you know, using whatever space they can. And let's say a little kid comes by and grabs the cord. You know, it could be a very, very dangerous situation 
A little kid could get hurt. The little kid could get killed. So Steve says, this is what Steve says. And again, you can look at your code book here, right? And I have my uh, code book over here and I'll show it to you real quick. You know, the 2023 National Electrical Code. This tells us what the minimum standards are. And, and for whatever reason, you know, they still allow in the bathroom, which I don't understand why, you know, they allow us to put that receptacle outlet here, uh, down here. But let's continue reading, okay? And then it says, in no case can the receptacle outlet be more than 12 inches below the top of the sink or sink countertop, right? Because we can have a sink all by itself, like a pedestal sink, you know, and, you know, let's say this, all this wasn't here. We just had a big pedestal sink and you wanted to put that receptacle outlet, let's say below the surface of the sink and you can go up to 12 inches. And, you know, how do you measure that? You know, do you measure from the top of the box or the bottom of the box? So again, I don't want you to do this. Steve says, don't do it. Okay, don't do it. But if you're forced to do it, make sure you tell the homeowner that that's not something that Steve recommends, okay? So when you're measuring, you know, for this stupid rule, which they allowed in 2023, so if I'm gonna be putting my box over here, let's say on the face of the cabinet, I'm gonna measure from the top to the bottom of the box, 12 inches, right? That's my maximum. You know, I can certainly go higher, but I can't go any more than 12 inches. And why is that? Because when you put that receptacle in that outlet box, no matter where you measure, you're gonna be within the 12 inches. Uh, it says, hey, one bathroom outlet, right? One bathroom outlet. You can use that for two sinks so that you meet the requirement um, for that receptacle outlet to be within three feet of the outside edge of each sink. And that's a really good point. So, you know, I've got a receptacle outlet here. And then from this edge, I have a receptacle outlet here. It's about maybe a foot away. But what, what we could have done to save money is just to put one receptacle outlet here in the middle. And that would have been within three feet of each outside edge of each of the sinks. But here's the problem. You know, the husband and wife, maybe they're not talking to each other that day and the wife's over here and the husband's over here and they don't wanna share a receptacle outlet. So my suggestion is if you got a nice, big, beautiful bathroom like this, you know, put one receptacle outlet on one side for one sink and then put one on the other side for the other sink. And then it says in the My Colt book, um, we can have those receptacle outlet assemblies that are listed for use in countertops and they're permitted to be installed in the bathroom sink countertop surface. And what is that listed assembly? So let's say the homeowner doesn't want to have receptacle outlets in the wall, right? Let's say, or oh, it's not possible for whatever reason because you know, we could have a wall here, but what if, what if this wall was not a wall? Let's say it was just one big piece of glass that's looking outside into somebody's backyard, right? And let's say you can't do that here. And then what did Steve say not to do? Steve doesn't want you to do this. Please don't put a receptacle outlet over here on the face of the cabinet. We got to worry about, you know, the children from, from them getting hurt or killed. So what you can do is you can have what's called a listed assembly. And that would be um, a, you know, a, a device that you, you make a hole inside, not you, but have the countertop people make the hole because you don't want to ruin like a thousand dollar countertop like this. So identify where that hole is going to be. And it's a pretty cool thing. And when you press down on it, it pops up and it's got the receptacles that you can use. And then when you're done with it, you could push it down and it stays down. But it has to be a listed assembly for this countertop in a wet location because it's gonna get water on here. So you, can't, you cannot use one that's listed, let's say for a work surface. You gotta have one that's listed for 
this type of counter in the wet location because you're going to have water, right? And we want to have, we want to make sure that that listed assembly can stop the water from going inside. Also, really important, you got to find out what's underneath here, right? So we have a drawer that's over here. I'm not going to open it up, but let's say you're going to install this over here, but the drawer in the back is in the way. You might have to cut the drawer short in the back to accommodate that listed assembly, that pop-up that's going to go up and down. All right, so again, the change here in the, the Mike Holt book is that they changed, they clarified, they used the word sinks, not basins, all right? Uh, also, uh, on my website, electricaltime.com, I've got free code questions and answers. Again, go to my website, electricaltime.com, and subscribe for the free NEC code questions and answers. And then you'll be getting some emails a couple of times a week with some free code questions and answers. Hopefully you got some good information out of this video, and we will catch you on the next one. Thank you very much, and God bless.